The Anchorage School District has released next year's proposed budget. As educators have predicted to lawmakers among ASD's proposed cuts, bigger class sizes and fewer teachers. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with Lauren Maxwell, live where the Anchorage School Board meeting is just starting at district headquarters. Lauren? And Mike, those proposed cuts that you just mentioned are some of the ways that the district is proposing to deal with a budget deficit that's estimated at nearly $100 million, a lot of money. Another thing that the district is proposing is to take out $70 million from a special savings account that's usually reserved for emergencies like earthquakes. Superintendent Jarrett Bryant said he wanted people to know that nearly draining that account is actually a big deal, not just for this year, but possibly years to come. These cuts are understandably very alarming to our families and we need to discuss and deliberate them accordingly. But with that said, looking forward to FY26 and FY27, which is my job and my duty, um, we're not going to have those $70 million to lean on. And things will be exponentially worse unless we take action on our recurring expenditures if revenue remains stagnant. And one of the other things that they're discussing tonight is the IGNITE program. Mike, that's a program for gifted elementary students. They're proposing some big changes to that that probably will not make parents happy. So, Lauren, how does the uh, school district say that we got to this point? Well, you know, they say it's a combination of things, you know, inflation and rising costs, lower enrollment, but mostly they say it's the flat funding from Juno, from the state. And of course, as you know, there's a big push to try and get more money from the state.